What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, John from the Game Dude here, welcoming you to another episode of Danganronpa V3. Killing Harmony in the last episode. We actually did all of our investigation in a swift 35 freaking minutes. That scares the crap out of me, though, because if we did our investigation that fast, what the heck is about to transpire in this trial? We did not get a lot of information, so it's, it's going to hit us hard, and I am definitely scared at that. But we're going to go ahead and go to the Shrine of Judgment, just like Monokuma wants us to do, and get our show on the road. Honestly, while we're making our way to the Shrine of Judgment, if I can, oh yeah, there it is, if I can, um, talk about kind of my thoughts. I think that it's they're going to go in a similar to, to DR2. And I'm definitely nervous about that. However, I don't, I don't think both of them are dead, right? And, like, I know that they're talking, like, both of them could be dead, but I doubt that. I doubt that to be the case. That would be crazy, though, if they killed both of them off and somebody performed a double kill, like, right when I didn't expect it. But I, I doubt it. Um, I'm expecting Maki to be the culprit, unfortunately, but for circumstances that aren't exactly how we anticipated it. This isn't everyone, right? Uh, um, Kaido and Kokichi aren't here. I bet Kokichi's already there. You bastard. As the mastermind of the killing game, he's waiting for us to arrive. No. We don't know that yet. There's a chance that Kaido is still alive. Do you wanna die? Cut it out. Do you want to die? Maki. Well. This is ba a battle between hope and despair. If I show any weakness like you are, then I will lose to despair. Lose to despair? You don't know? Six of us will participate, and one of us will die after this class trial. Then only five of us will be left. Only five. Uh, That's right. We're the only ones left. That's uh, obvious. We, but we can't lose to despair. Even if we got no future, we need to win. This is the whole point of the class trial. I will defeat Kokichi no matter what I have to sacrifice. No matter what she has to sacrifice? Are you sure about that, Maki? Is that what you call hope? I know we can't lose to despair, but something is wrong. Something doesn't feel right. I wonder what Kaido would say at a time like this. What would he say to us? If it was Kaido. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Five people in the elevator remain. This is the crazy, like this is the big one with this, the elevator that has like nobody in it. Because usually this is the final elevator scene, I think in every single Danganronpa game. Chapter 5 is at the final of the elevator scene, so. We didn't say one word to another. Silent as a tomb, we stepped into the open doors. That is insane. We lost all the will to live, knowing what we know about the outside world. But somehow, despite that despair, we found a new reason to live. To win the battle between hope and despair. But now, what do we do, or what do we know? We don't know what hope means to us anymore. What is hope? A burden you bear? As those thoughts pierced my mind, I suddenly stopped. I can't think about things like that anymore. The only thing I need to think about is our survival. Ah, uh, nice. a battle like this takes me back. Uh, after all, hope and despair are natural enemies. Yes, this is a truly magnificent time. Uh, only the esteemed works of fiction have themes as magnificent as this. Wow. Anyway, where's Kokichi? Why isn't he here? Maki was right. The person who should be here isn't. <laughs> well, I'll tell you once the trial starts! What? What's going on? What are you scheming now? No. It doesn't matter what Kokichi is scheming. Must this do. is the final battle between hope and despair. It all ends here. Kokichi can have a twist and violate the rules all he likes, but will never give up. Hope will never submit to despair. Oh, for the love of... Uh, no rules have been violated. Not in my watch, you know. Shut up. Whatever. Hurry up and start. We'll end the class trial and we'll defeat the remnants of despair no matter what. So get ready. Okay, okay. 
Yeah, yeah, I got it. Now let's get started. Mix equal parts life and death, add a dash of lies and truth, and bacon and fires of conflict. <laughs> and then it's golden brown and bubbling, and you have yourself a truly decadent class trial. And what's more, we face the class trial. Was the one who died Kaido or Kokichi? I can't say for certain, but I still believe Kaido wouldn't die so easily. I I don't know why I believe that so strongly. Oh, they're purple! Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Kokichi and Kaido are going to be purple because they're uncertain. I like that touch. I'm here for that. But I will fight to prove it. I will fight with everyone. To grasp the hope on the other side of the truth. I will fight. I will fight this trial of truth and lies. <sighs> do you want to save? Oh, no. I didn't do a whole investigation. Definitely don't want to save. Um... No, I know I'd ask you that on purpose. I'm totally just joshing. Pull on, I'm pulling the game's chain. I appreciate the save. Okay. Um, I don't want to do add anything. Let's just begin. Let's just jump into it. I think we're fine. I'm fine to just jump in. For once, I actually have my truth bullets. We already got things situated. We'll find out. I'll, I'm not confident at all. Now then, let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who done it. Vote correctly, and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate. Graduation is meaningless here. We already know that. We don't need your rules anymore. We'll find our own reasons to live. And we'll do whatever it takes to survive. Wow! An actual talking robot! I've never seen one of those before. Ooh! Seriously? Oh! Oh, this is the this is the class trial we've been wanting. Monokuma's about to pop off in this trial because his kids aren't alive anymore. What happened to Kokichi? Why isn't he here? Aw, oh, don't make that face killer! This case has some unique circumstances. Unique circumstances? Because for this murder, the victim's identity is completely unknown. Given these circumstances... I decided to start off this class trial while the victim is still anonymous. After all, it'd be a shame if I let such a rare opportunity go to waste. Is that possible? I thought everyone had to participate in the class trial. Don't worry. The person who's still alive is waiting behind the scenes for their cue. It's all part of the overall production. Anyway, let's get this trial moving. I guess we have no choice but to start the trial under these conditions. What's there to even talk about? The Blacken is the mastermind, Kokichi. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of, too. It's too soon to decide anything for certain. We don't even know if Kaito was the victim. How long are you going to say that? The victim is Kaito. End of discussion. But we need to be absolutely sure if we don't positively identify the victim. The other person will never show themselves, right? Before we can identify a suspect, we need to determine who the victim is. Why are we even talking about something so obvious? What a <laughs> <laughs> Everyone thinks that it's Kaido is the victim, but I have my doubts. There's a chance Kaido is still alive. If we keep discussing the case, I'm sure we'll reach the truth. Victim has to be Kaito. Kaito was taken prisoner by Kokichi. Yes. So he could have killed him whenever he wanted. 
And the hydraulic press had his clothes inside. Kokichi can't be the victim because there's no evidence for it. That's wrong! Sorry, Maki. I have evidence that points to Kokichi being the victim. I found this in the hangar. Ah, 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 ah. Kibo found this in the hangar. You did not, Shuichi. Kibo found it. Yeah. Is that Kokichi's coat? <laughs> Kibo found that. All, all points to Kibo. Yes, and look here. There are blood stains on the sleeve. That would indicate that Kokichi suffered an external injury, correct? Kokichi was injured? The fact that these were flushed down the toilet implies that they are evidence of a crime. What about it? Kaito's clothes were in the hydraulic press. As long as we have that evidence, there's no doubt that Kaito was the one murdered. Yeah, that's right. It's one of those irrefutable evidence things. Ever since she found the body in the hangar, Maki insisted that it's Kaido's. But why is that? I thought we had an understanding. I thought she'd want to believe that Kaido is still alive. Either way, it seems Maki is hung up on Kaido's clothes. In that case, I need to just demonstrate the flaw in relying on that as evidence. If I do that, I think she'll realize there's a chance that Kaido is alive. Actually... There's something bothering me about the clothes found in the hydraulic press. Hmm? What about them? There's something particular or peculiar about those clothes. Ah. Uh, I'm going to go with this. That's it. Okay. Why was only the sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press? That's fair. If Kaito had been crushed by the press, the sleeve shouldn't have been empty. Yeah, 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 yeah. There should have been an arm inside the sleeve as well. Okay, that's where I get that. So the fact that we found an empty sleeve should... Shall I kill that logic? Wow! This is, this is going to be a, a fight between me and Maki to start this. You're dumber than I thought if I have to go out of my way to explain it to you. If you can't even see that, then be quiet. Otherwise, you're just annoying me. What bottle showdown? The coat sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press is rather telling. It couldn't have been anyone else. But Kaito, if you can't see that, then you weren't looking hard enough. I wasn't looking hard enough. What do you mean? He always dressed himself in a rather odd manner. He never put his arms through his coat sleeves. What? So when the hydraulic press crushed him, all that stuck out was his coat sleeve. If you understand to be quiet already, Otherwise, you're getting in the way. Maggie's claim appears to be solid, but I know it's not. She's wrong, but I can't conclude Kaido is dead on that evidence. He always dressed himself in a rather odd manner. He never put his arms through his coat sleeves. So when the hydraulic press crushed him, all that stuck out was his coat sleeve. If you understand to be quiet already... Otherwise, you're getting in the way. He always dressed himself in a rather odd manner. He never put his arms through his coat sleeves. I'll cut through your words! Yes, it's true. Kaito never put his arms through his sleeve. Right. But that was just his right arm. He wore his left sleeve normally. And, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. 
and the left sleeve was the one we found outside the press. Knowing how Kaito wore his coat, that's oddly strange, isn't it? Then maybe neither of his arms were through the sleeves. Girl, it's fine. Huh? It's a possibility. In the end, your reasoning is full of holes. But so ain't yours, girl. Stop getting in my way. I have to defeat Kokichi. Maki, what's really going on? Seems you have made up your mind that Kaito is definitely dead. But why would you do that? It's like Maki said, though. Kaito's gotta be the victim. Because if Kokichi, the mastermind, was dead, the killing game would be over. Yeah, that's true. Monokuma, hurry up and bring Kokichi here. We already know who the victim is. Huh? Already? You sure it's not too soon? We need the suspect present, now that he's the subject of our discussion. Gotcha. I guess I'll bring him out now. Hey, Mr. Suspect! That's your cue! Exosol? Uh, yeah. What? Why is an Exosol here? Haha, <laughs> whoops, my bad. Seems like I gave you guys a scare, huh? What? What is this? Is that Kaito's voice? Kaito? There was a lot going on, so I just hid in an Exosol and kind of dozed off. <laughs> and that's why I'm so late. Anyway, what's going on, guys? Oh, hold on. Then the one that died wasn't Kaito. Stupid! That was just a lie! I knew you'd play these games, Monokuma. <laughs> you guys thought I died? <laughs> I would never... No way. Kokichi? Monica was not gonna tell us. Y'all thought Monica was gonna actually tell us who died? I'm gonna live till I die. I'm gonna laugh instead of cry. Wow, that's old. How old are you? <laughs> oh. I thought as much. Your appearance right now is fit for a lowly asshole like you. <laughs> You're making me blush. You're getting so angry over me. Is that really you, Kokichi? I don't... I don't think so. That's right, Cracker Jack. Seriously, how old are you? Then why are you hiding in there? Show yourself. Oh, this is more for self-defense. Little Miss Cranky Pants would kill me if I showed myself. understand how you guys must feel. You can't believe it because I'm like this, right? <laughs> That's what I thought. In that case, I brought evidence. Evidence? Ta-da! The video camera. It was in the warehouse, but I brought it to the hangar, just in case. Man, that was a smart move. Thanks to this, I filmed it so everyone could see it clearly. The moment the victim died. W what did you say? Alrighty then. Let's watch this shocking moment. Hey, Monokuma. Can you connect the video camera to the monitor? Roger that! And the tape played for us. Huh? 
Kaito? Th this is terrible. Why would something like this? Uh, I saw it through my fingers. The moment Kaito was crushed. By the way, I'd like to add that this footage has not been doctored in any way. Right. This video camera only has the basic functions. Just the play, record, and pause button so you can't edit after filming it. And of course, I didn't upload it to a computer to edit it either. Right, Monokuma? Oh, you can talk. Your answer is necessary for a fair discussion. I see. If it's necessary for a fair discussion, then I will answer. No trace of that footage was found on any of the computers inside the Academy. See, if it wasn't connected to any computer, then editing the footage would be impossible. Which means this footage is 100% real. If that's the case, then it would seem our suspicions can be lifted. The body we found inside the hangar, crushed in the hydraulic press, is definitely Kaito. Murder video has been added to the truth bullet section of our handbook. Well, there's one bestie potentially confirmed down. I would say, was that, was that really him? So, I can't believe he died such a horrible death. I can't believe he died with his guts and his brain splattered all over that machine. <laughs> oh my gosh, Emiko. Stop it! Now I'm starting to not feel well. That's probably because I used my magic to transfer all my barf over to you. <laughs> I know that's a joke, but the thought of it... <laughs> Why? Why was Kaido killed? Kokiji had no reason to kill Kaido. He just told us all of that. He was the mastermind. And that the killing game was over. So, what would he gain by killing Kaido? <laughs> it looks like you finally believe that I'm the one in this exosol. Yes. With that, we can definitively say that the culprit is... You. No. Huh? Why? You filmed the moment the victim died, which means you were present at the scene. As the person who filmed this footage, you're the only one who could be the culprit. No. But if the culprit shot the video, why would they go out of their way to show it? Oh man, you got me! Yeah, I'm the culprit. Dog, you ain't the culprit. Jeez, I totally dug my own grave. Here's the truth. I decided to participate in this trial in an exosol after I killed Kaito. Of course, it was mostly to make the victim unknown. To jazz up this trial. I took that footage for proof so I could reveal it after you guys get the correct answer. But <laughs> I totally spaced out. I wasn't supposed to show it right away. So does that mean you admit to the crime? Oh, man. I dug my own grave again? Well, I don't think you guys will believe any of the excuses I make now. So, I give up. You're giving up? Does that mean it's been decided? Is it okay that this trial was so short? That's fine. We knew from the very start that Kokichi was the killer. But he's not, though. But before we vote... I want to say something to Kokichi. You may be the mastermind, but I won't let you escape after you violated the rules. That would desecrate the killing game Junko and Oshima created, right? Your beloved Junko and Oshima. Junko? Whatever. It's voting time now. Let's go before Kokichi changes his... No, hold on a second. This isn't right. Yeah, it, it, no, it's not. 
The culprit comes in, confesses to the crime, and the trial ends? Exactly. That's not how this goes. That doesn't sound like the kind of game Kokichi or Monokuma or Junko would play. What if the mastermind got tired of it? The remnants of despair were like that. No, if they were tired of it, they wouldn't have put all that effort into the video. Exactly. There would have been no need for this class trial in the first place. 100. This is why I'm thinking Maki's going to be the culprit. Something's not right. We need to get a better feel for this situation. Agreed. I think Kokichi has some sort of plan. He's trying to trap us. Trap us? Are you saying Kokichi isn't the culprit? Kokichi is not the culprit, honey. I'm losing both my besties this trial, and I'm dead set on it. I'm sorry, Dagerup will do this to you. I'm and dead set on believing that both my besties are dead. My boyfriend and my friend that is a girl is gonna die in the same chapter, and it's just gonna happen. It's just I just I I have come to like just cold heartedly accept that reality. And this is the this is the sort of weird apathy that. Danganronpa elicits to people. And it's, su it's such an interesting yet sensational feeling. <coughs> what? If it's not Kokichi, then the culprit must be one of us. One of us? That's not possible! No, I didn't say that. I was just saying it's dangerous to trust Kokichi. <laughs> Shuichi is so distrusting. But it's exactly like Shuichi said. I'm actually not the culprit. Seriously? What? But that contradicts what you said previously. Yep, Burrs, that was a lie. Sorry, I lied again. The real culprit of this case is super bad at hiding themselves, so I thought I could help. I pretended to be the culprit by using the footage. It made the game more interesting, too. Uh, are you serious? <laughs> what's the truth and what's a lie? I don't know anymore. It's fine, because Kokichi is the culprit. He killed Kaito. No matter how much he deceives us, it won't change our minds. The footage shows he did it. Kokichi has to be the only option. The only option? Is that really true? Are we just gonna leave it at that? No. There's Safety no function? Doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? Kaito got crushed to death. Video. Whoever committed that crime was with Kaito in the hangar. No, 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 no. Kokichi, then. then the culprit is Kokichi Oma, the mastermind of this entire killing game, and Kaito's killer. Kokichi killed Kaito with the hydraulic press. That's the consensus right now. But is that even possible? There's no doubt that this, Kokichi is no. the culprit. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? Kaito got crushed to oh, shit! <laughs> that was not intentional, but that works! That was... <laughs> the safety function would make it impossible to kill Kaito with the press. A safety function? Yes, it was written on the safety precautions. The hydraulic press will automatically stop if its infrared sensor detects a living organism. So the hydraulic press won't move at all if there's a living person under it? Which is why it couldn't have been used to kill Kaito. Which means it's more likely that Kaito was crushed after being killed by some other means. What we saw in that video, he was already dead by then. Ooh. But you could disable the infrared sensor of the safety function with an electro bomb. No, I don't think Kokichi would use an electro bomb for that purpose. I don't think he would either. 
it would have taken down the hangar's alarm system and Exosol's remote control. Which is why, which is why my initial suspect is Maki here, but it would have put Kokichi that. at a significant disadvantage. Yeah, Kokichi wouldn't willingly do it. But you can't be too sure I wouldn't do that. I'm the type who would do anything for fun. Also, we don't have any evidence of a different murder method other than the hydraulic pro- We do. No, we do. I have a plausible theory for the murder. What? Yes. There is a clue that suggests the victim that was killed before- or There is a clue that suggests the victim was killed before being crushed. I found it somewhere around the hydraulic press. Oh, no. Oh, 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 Okay, wait. This is it! First miss, but that's okay. There was a swipe pattern blood stain in the hangar, suggesting a body was dragged. The blood stain goes from the bathroom all the way to the press. Oh, that was the restroom where Kaido was being held, wasn't it? Blood stains were also found inside the bathroom. That can't be coincidence. So Kaito was killed in the restroom, then dragged to the press and crushed? If the bloodstain even was Kaito's. What? We only guessed that Kaito was killed in the bathroom. Since his body was crushed, we'll never know if Kaito died some other way. We might not be able to examine the body, but... We have evidence that suggests a cause of death. There! The small hole on the sleeve of Kaito's coat is the key to his cause of death. There's a small hole? No, no, no! There is no way that hole's got anything to do with the weapon! I'll hit you with my everything you buy will go on sale the next day curse. <laughs> that would be a gosh dingy darn terrible curse. Himiko, what's wrong? Why are you freaking out all of a sudden? Um, I'm not freaking out. I'm just saying it's impossible for the weapon to be that small. No, it's not impossible. I can show you. The weapon that left that small hole in Kaido's sleeve... This is it! Now we're getting the crossbow. I believe the weapon was the crossbow found in the bathroom. <laughs> a crossbow arrow would certainly leave a hole that small. Can we then conclude that Kaito was shot with that crossbow? If so, that crossbow just might be the actual murder weapon used to kill Kaito. I see. Surprising that a crossbow is the murder weapon. Seriously, Himiko, what's wrong? She probably needs to pee. Anyway, about Kaido getting shot. If that was his cause of death, then I wonder who shot him with the crossbow. Well, I already know, but I won't tell you. He's just playing with us. Then let's show him that playtime is over. Let's show him that the students of Hope's Peak Academy will never submit to despair. Hope? Despair? Three arrows. I wonder who shot Kaito with the crossbow. What a mystery, right guys? Who else but you could have done it? The shot would need to be fired from inside the hangar to hit Kaito. No, the bathroom window. We couldn't go in the hangar. Ah, I barely missed it. From inside the hangar to hit Kaito. That's wrong. I barely missed it. Even without going in the hangar, it was possible to land a shot with a crossbow. There was a window in the bathroom of the hangar. Maybe it wasn't possible to get in, 
but you could have shot through the window. And remember that Kaito was confined to the bathroom. So if they shot Kaito through the window, they could have killed him in the hangar. Which means the murder suspect list grows to six people, including me! <laughs> what did you say? But put plainly, that means... It seems Shuichi wants to make one of us the culprit, is that it? Is that what a detective does? Huh? Do detectives always accuse people, even when they're friends? Oh. It seems like it. You suspected Kaito in the previous class trial, too. You're always suspicious of your friends. W what's wrong, Maki? You seem like you're kind of on edge. Of course I am. When we said we would defeat the remnants of despair, someone got in our way. No, you don't understand. I'm not trying to... It doesn't matter how much you get in my way. I will absolutely defeat Kokichi. I won't let despair escape. I won't let it win. Now, now. Let's stop this boring fight and continue on with the not-so-boring trial. So we all agree that the murder could be done by anyone and not just me, right? That might be true, but I didn't know about the window. Carl. Neither did I. Really, Himiko? What's the matter? You've been weird since we mentioned small holes. What? Are you after my small hole too? Wow. <laughs> wow. See? Now that's definitely weird. <laughs> Look at it this way. Just because the culprit could be anyone, not everyone is a suspect. <laughs> we can pretty hell? much narrow it down to anyone who knew about the crossbow. I never knew about any crossbow. In other words, I'm not suspicious. There's no way you can consider me. It does concern me that Himiko went to the hangar last night. <laughs> well, really? You went to the hangar, Himiko? Yes, she did. I definitely saw her. You, you were watching me? It's awfully suspicious that you went to the hangar last night. Okay, then the culprit is Himiko. Wait, don't say it's me. Maki's more suspicious than I am. This is the blame game, okay. What? Th that crossbow came from your research lab, right? But we've established before that that's not necessarily the, the case for the culprit. You could have gotten that crossbow whatever you wanted. Anyone could have gone to her research lab, though. She's not the only suspect. Thank you, Samugi. I don't know about that. She's definitely the most suspicious. Even if you make that scary face at me, I'm not gonna get scared. Because if you start panicking, then we'll know that you're the culprit. I said... Not the culprit, I swear! Kokichi's the suspicious one! Maki too! They're both the culprits! But why am I a suspect? Anyone could have entered my research lab. Oh, boss panic debate! Uh, I'll admit that I'm suspicious. Okay, maybe I am the culprit. Maybe yes, I, I am the culprit! The culprit. Oh, that's gonna be weird. I went Why am I the number one suspect? Because I was in the hangar. If I you were all the crime scene. Magic. What do you Did mean? Not the the magic. There's a good I magic that's source around here. From your research lab. So I went then here who I'm the number one suspect? Kokichi, I'm the one who shot Kaito. Oh, what, what? I went to my... Oh. Damn it. I went to my... my I didn't bring anything back. Hold on. I, 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 I was one sentence too late. Because I was in the hangar. I'm in the crossbow. There's a good I know it's a... I heard it. You said that you went to the hangar empty-handed. But that's a lie, isn't it? Yeah, like I said, I'm... What are you talking about? It's not a lie. 
I was one too late. But Kibo saw you. He said you were headed toward the hangar, carrying a large black bag. Yes, Himiko was definitely carrying a large black bag. N no, that was probably Sumugi cosplaying as me. Literally can't happen, girl. You know I can't cosplay as someone unless they're a fictional character. Himiko, this is the bag you were carrying, isn't it? That's the crossbow case. There's no mistake. That is the bag I saw Himiko carrying. What? Hold on. Himiko went to the hangar with a crossbow? Yeah! Uh-oh. Well, it's decided then. Wait! That's wrong! I just brought it there. I didn't shoot it. It's the truth! Please believe me! That That's the part that I do believe. Is that... Like, I don't... I... I I feel like she might have gotten it per request of Kaido. You're right. I believe you. Himiko is totally telling the truth. Not you. If you believe me, it makes me look like I'm lying. I was going to say, I'm like, I've stopped listening to Kokichi at this point. That is true. But can we really trust Himiko here? She's acting very suspiciously. 